First look at CAF Extended version 3.0 based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at CAF Extended version 3.0 based on Android 12 running on the Poco F1. Now as you can see build date is from October 22nd. The kernel they are using is Shiva's no name kernel. Android security patch is from October 2021. Now you do have pixel launcher baked into the ROM out of the box. Select bam here it is working without any issues. If I go to my next recent which in this case is Chrome tap on this image icon I can share it use Google lens on it and similarly if I tap on the link icon I can share the link from my recents as well. This is how the power menu is going to look like and this is how your volume panel is going to look like next up let us have a look at your quick settings panel so bam here it is this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like in case you want to edit it add more tiles you have the option for that as well next up let us press and hold on the empty space go into widgets so of course if you update all your applications from the play store you should get google clock version 7.1 and if you add this analog clock you now have the option of using different clock faces similarly if you go back into widgets and go into the clock section you do have a stopwatch clock as well and if you add the digital clocks you are going to get the option of choosing either a solid background or a transparent background in case you want to do that other than that another widget which is activated after the initial android 12 widget is this one and this here is called paint chips and this is going to give you the color accents being used in this specific theme tap on it you get a blown up view and tap on any of the colors and you can now share them using the quick share menu which is present in android 12. then we can talk about material u as well so going to wallpapers and style this is your ui you can enable dark theme you also have themed icons and you can change your app grid as well now if you go into change wallpaper the mandalorian wallpapers unfortunately google has removed them but you do get the community lens wallpapers and the motif wallpapers are also now automatically downloaded then if you install the pixel 6 live wallpapers apk bam here it is these are the pixel 6 live wallpapers the blur effect is working without any issues and then once you're satisfied with the blur effect tap on the check mark apply to home and lock screen both and there it is applied successfully on the home screen working like a boss on the lock screen as well and those android film animations are of course super dope now this wallpaper is going to move around when you move your device as well now in case you do not like the current color profile you can always go back into wallpapers and style and change the color profile to whatever options you like and if you do not like any of them you can always use the basic colors as well and of course everything is adapting to material ui without any issues so here it is google keyboard did adapt to material ui now something which is broken on this specific build is at a glance so as you can see these features are still not available and if i talk about system search system search is still broken so if i search for munchy it is not showing up the contact which it should so that is broken but of course you can customize what all options you want to see in your system wide search next up let us head over to settings so this is how the settings are going to look like let us jump over to apps so here and let us go into the chrome application go into permissions and you will notice some new features have been added so you can control whether this app has access to the network or not then you can also configure sensor access as well and if you go into the nearby devices that can also be configured and again remove permissions if app is not used for some time and for location you do have three different options then if you go back and go to the main page you can of course configure your default applications but surprise surprise you do have game dashboard enabled no tricks only need to enable this toggle and once you have enabled that toggle all you need to do is download any game from the play store open it you will get this arrow on the right hand side tap on this tap on the controller and bam here it is this is our android 12 gaming dashboard you can enable your screenshot your screen record and your fps meter this pill you can of course move it around to whatever side you want to it is going to snap to that side as well and 
you can stream your gameplay in case you want to works without any issues optimization is based on the game so if the game has enabled it then you can optimize your game as well next up heading back into apps i did notice a new feature called unused apps so i think any application for which the permission is removed something which we saw earlier is going to appear in unused applications next up we can go into notifications so of course you can control your per app notifications notification history is there once you have enabled the toggle next up you have priority conversations along with bubbles now do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now and then you also have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now next up we have battery so here in you do have your battery usage then you also have battery saver along with the extreme battery saver and you can of course set a schedule for your battery saver adaptive battery is also there along with the toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage next up we have sound and vibration so you do have sliders for all the different volumes then you also have live caption now with live caption i did notice you have the option of captioning your calls as well so you can configure if you want to ask every time always or off for captioning of your calls then you can configure the vibration and haptics as well along with the toggles for all the different options which you see and direct sound enhancer has also been added to this build moving over to display you of course have adaptive brightness working without any issues going to lock screen Screen, do not enable and I repeat do not enable now playing otherwise you are going to have lags in your UI always on display works without any issues animations are super dope super dope trust me Android 12 is dope when it comes to animations then you also have screen timeout along with the toggle for screen attention working without any issues next up you have toggle for dark theme and of course you can schedule your dark theme based on time or based on sunset to sunrise now for sunset to sunrise it is going to access your location then you can change the font size display size you can also configure the dpi and again everything is adapting to material you then you can also configure your night light and same options apply for night light wherein you can configure it for a custom time or from sunset to sunrise and you can also control the intensity of night light you Using the slider next up you can change your colors so you can switch between natural boosted saturated and adaptive and if you scroll you can configure your RGBs as well so all these features as you can see on your screen right now are working without any issues then you have auto rotate screen along with a toggle to enable face detection in case you want to use that double tap to wake is there let us test it out BAM there it is double tap to wake in the building working without any issues next up we can head over to the next option which is your wallpapers and style so we have covered all the options in this so we can now jump over to security so again no face unlock but you do have fingerprint unlock working without any issues super fast as is expected from the poco f1 and the next option we can go over is privacy so in privacy we do have a privacy dashboard here and you can see what apps have access to your location camera microphone and the other options which you see on your screen other than that you also have toggles for camera access microphone access and show clipboard access how do these work well let us open the camera application and then we can try to record a video so here it is i am in video mode let me start recording a video now once i do that and if i open my quick settings you will notice i have a notification that something is accessing the microphone and the camera and the application is also being mentioned now i do have quick setting tiles for mic access and camera access let me disable this block it and now you will notice it has changed over to just the camera or the video mode being used and again if i enable this then we are back to business with the same option of microphone and camera being used so this is the new feature of privacy which google has added with android 12 next up we can head over to system so in system we do have our gestures you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice system navigation you have three buttons or gestures and of course with gestures you can invoke the assistant by swiping like this and you also have the option of configuring the sensitivity for the left edge and for the right edge in case you want to 
then you also have one-handed mode enable this and you can swipe down near the pill to enable or disable your one-handed mode and the other option you have is to enable a shortcut so you can create an accessibility shortcut or hold the volume keys whatever you want to do and once you enable this here it is this is the accessibility shortcut which i can now use to enable or disable the one-handed mode and of course it does snap to the edges as well then you can press and hold the power button for a assistant in case you want to do that now once you enable this how do you turn off your device access your quick settings press the power button over here and you are good to go next up in gestures you do have prevent ringing wherein you can use the power and volume up together to switch between the different ringer modes now you also have rules so herein you can configure a rule say you want to leave your home and make sure that bluetooth and wi-fi are turned off so that is something which you can configure over here next up you do have system ui tuner you can configure the different options you want to see in your status bar similarly you also have do not disturb settings along with ambient display navigation bar customization is also there along with the shortcuts for the left and the right on your lock screen then if you go into me extras here and you can configure your vibration strength you also have vibration wave patterns so this is something which is similar to oxygen os style incoming call patterns this is what those are about kcal unfortunately is broken on this current build and as per the developer it will be fixed in the next build then you also have your per app thermal profiles per app performance profiles are also there and you can also configure your default performance and thermal profile if you want to know more about how to use these options what they do i do have a link in the pinned comment on the video and if you read that you should get all the information you need about these thermal profiles next up with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now with respect to google photos you either get storage saver unlimited or original quality which is going to count against your storage then we can also check if the feature of portrait light is working or not so here it is a picture of my favorite football star let us wait for this loading bar to finish once that is done let us go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues two important things to note over here it has adapted to material you and the fact that portrait light will only work on human objects it is not going to work on my chicken friend over here then with respect to the assistant lady she is there but she only works with the screen turned on with the screen turned off the feature is broken right now then with respect to safety net so safety net is not going to pass out of the box you will have to root your device once you've rooted your device go ahead and enable magisk hide once that is done go into magisk hide tap on magisk hide one more time here in you need to enable magisk hide for google play services and the google play store if play store does not show up tap on this search icon at the bottom right enable show system apps here and search for play store once that is done you can go into settings go into apps see all apps here and clear all the data for the google play store and the google play services once that is done all you need to do is reboot your device and then if you check for safety net safety net is going to pass out of the box so there it is on your screen right now safety net is now passing on my device and if i go to the google play store and here and i can also check for the play store certification status here it is in about play store is certified which means that banking apps are going to work without any issues then we can check for app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now and trust me this is like crazy fast even before the animation finishes if i tap on the next icon it is working super dope here is your google feed again no jitters and no lags in the google feed either everything is working absolutely fine the transition from your google feed to your home screen is pretty smooth as well then recents again everything is smooth and fast no jitters and no lags let us try to switch between a few applications there it is on your screen it is super crazy fast and trust me this rom is pretty smooth and before i forget we can also check whether the feature of extended screenshot is working or not so there it is capture more and now i should get the option of choosing 
the area of which I want to take a screenshot. There it is, magnification, zoom effect in the building. Use the nubs to choose whatever content you want to capture. Tap on save on the top left and bam, screenshot captured without any issues. And trust me, this is one super smooth ROM. And there it is peeps. That was our first look at CAF or CAF extended version 3.0 based on Android 12 running on the Poco F1. And that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you